So our client, Hakima Benati, went to Domino's Pizza to order herself a pizza. She was carrying her two-year-old child and she was pregnant. She went and ordered vegetarian pizza. And when she got home and opened the box, she found that it was deformed. It was missing ingredients, missing dough, crust, it was misformed. I surprise, I don't see my order. That's pizza served for dogs, not for humans. She caught and complained, didn't get anywhere, so she went back in the pizza shop. The way how they look at me, the way how they talk to me, never ever they do that to somebody else. They ignored her, they laughed at her. Because she, she laughed. I know my English not very well, but at least I try to communicate. Plus, that's not my first time I went to that store. I went many times. The only difference is between this time and every other time is Hakima had started covering her head. She wore the hijab. I leave the box, I leave my money there, nobody give me a refund, and I come back. And you think that's the end of the story. Bad service, customer complaints, you call corporate. They, the cops, the police, they came to my home. Okay, they ask me, you went to the pizzeria store? Yes, I went to the menu, buy something. She tells them the same story I'm telling you. She got a horrible pizza. She felt discriminated against. She'd been to this pizza shop time and time again. The only difference was she wore a headscarf this time. What shocked her the most is what the police said next. Did you threaten to blow them up? How, I don't know how to, to repeat it. How come I can come in? I said, I want to bomb the store. Why? For pizza? And they put this, uh, yes, to my hand. I remember that I, I fall in the floor. Police picked her up from her home, arrested her, took off her hijab, took her picture, put that picture without her hijab all over the internet for the world to see, uh, kept her locked up for about a day and a half uh, without any halal food. In fact, only giving her ham sandwiches all because she went to buy pizza to feed herself and her children and was met by a group of very bigoted, ignorant individuals who made fun of her, denied her service, and then called the police on her with false allegations when she complained about the discrimination that she was facing. She said somebody was with me and they have remote. She had to be on bed rest because of the stress and anxiety this caused her for two days while being in jail because they believe the Domino's Pizza staff that she threatened to blow them up. This pregnant woman with a thick accent and limited English who was carrying her two-year-old at the time she went to the store. We were able to get an investigator the next day and that investigator re-interviewed the staff. Our professional investigator met with those witnesses and questioned them before even the police went to properly question them. And he got them on the record saying and admitting that she never made any such threats against them and, and admitting the, the, the mistreatment that she went through and admitting that there was no justification for her false arrest. I can say like uh, leave uh, marks on my life until now. Just now I still might see my picture online. Beating your family shouldn't become something that traumatizes you every day. I can't find job. I need work. I can't find job. Because EC, my record is bad. Like me now, I'm a terrorism person. How my kids, when they grow up, when they see their mother picture, now I scared to talk to any person. Sometimes I take my record with me. Anytime any person can make any, any little story. And with that story, I can go to the jail all my life. Just if somebody wanna, wanna lie, wanna create something. Care Florida is following suit because unfortunately we were not met with the response we wanted from Domino's Pizza. And we hope that finally we can bring some justice to this family through this litigation. Without them acknowledging what they did wrong, this is our only opportunity for her voice to be heard and to tell people that this is not okay, to let Domino's know this is not okay, and to let other Muslim women who are targeted to know that they can stand up for themselves.